Okay, Monica Torres, I appreciate your time here today. You are the president of Doña Ana Community College. Can you give us an idea of how many campuses you have around our community and how many students you serve? Great, thanks Justin, I'm happy to be here. Uh, yeah, DACC has six locations throughout the county. Um, in Las Cruces, we have two full service campuses, Espina and East Mesa. We also have the Workforce Center. And then in the southern part of the county, we have centers at Chaparral, Gadsden, just off the freeway, and then in Sunland Park. Okay, so how has COVID-19 uh, affected your day-to-day -day operations? You know, we, up front, we decided we needed to make some, some decisions about what values would help us make decisions. Um, and so we identified two priorities pretty quickly. How do we stay safe? And then how do we continue to support students in terms of their educational goals? Um, in the early days, um, we canceled events on campus. We moved uh, instruction and services to remote delivery, like all of our campuses. Um, and then we eventually closed uh, two lo all of our locations, actually. Um, now we're kind of in a position, Justin, where we're asking ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis, how do we keep improving instruction? And how do we keep improving our work environment? And so I'm seeing faculty and staff make adjustments to what we do to, to try and, and do those improvements. We're now turning our attention to the future, right? Um, how do we start planning for that, um, given that we don't know exactly where we're headed? And so at the institutional level, we're starting to ask, what will we look like when we're no longer just working from home? Uh, how do we help community members uh, find opportunities that we offer in our 100 degree programs and certificate programs? Um, as well our non-credit uh, non um, instruction. And then one of the things that's important for us, um, given that, that we do workforce preparation, that's one of our, our primary missions, is how do we support business and industry in kind of this post-COVID era? So I know Doniana Community College has a very diverse student population, and you kind of walked through some of the uh, different areas that are diverse with regards to the programs that you offer. Can you walk through some of the steps that you've had to take with some of these uh, more specialized programs as opposed to some of the more traditional programs? Right, right. Many of our, many of our general education programs could be moved to remote instruction pretty easily. Um, but some of the biggest challenges are with those programs um, that require students to observe, practice, master, and demonstrate very particular skills. So some of the programs have been able to shift that work to home environments with video demonstration. Um, culinary Arts has done that, for example. Uh, some of our programs have been able to purchase and implement simulation software. Um, nursing is in the process of doing that. Um, some are not able to make those adjustments quite so easily. So what they're doing is providing didactic instruction, additional instruction this semester, and then preparing um, lab instruction for when we can return um, kind of more fully to our campuses and, and trying to prepare that in a way that, that will account for social distancing methods, whatever we, we need to be doing at the time that we return. Um, and of course, we continue to work with um, accrediting agencies um, and state agencies to deal with issues, uh, requirements like clinical hours or practicum hours. Okay, so I, I know that there's been a lot of hard work that's gone into all of this. Is there a pleasant surprise that you've encountered? You know, um, I've not heard a lot of complaints. And this has been a big lift for students, for employees. Um, but what I keep seeing on our campus, uh, kind of day after day, is people trying to problem solve. Uh, what are new ways to deliver information, to provide Wi-Fi access? to support employees, to conduct um, financial transactions, um, people just trying to problem solve in a way that, that is safe, um, but that still allows us to successfully meet our mission. So I, I wouldn't say I'm surprised because I've worked at the ACC for seven years and I've seen um, people being creative um, to, to get their work done. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm really pleased to see that, that kind of attitude um, and as people make decisions, um, as they serve our students. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your time here today. Wishing you the very best. Thanks, Justin. Sure appreciate it.